Prince William showed signs during the unveiling of Princess Diana's statue in Kensington Palace last year that he is not willing to reconcile with his brother Prince Harry. Body language expert Blanca Cobb analyzed the interaction between the siblings during the event that took place at the Sunken Garden in July. She noted that it was their first meeting since the funeral of their grandfather, Prince Philip in April. Despite their smiles, they reportedly still have a lot of work to do to bring back their once close relationship. The one thing that will be interesting moving forward, depending on how much interaction Harry and William have in public, is whether there is any mending of the fences, so to speak, or mending of their relationship, she told the Express. Cobb pointed out that during the unveiling, Prince Harry made several nonverbal attempts to reconnect but Prince William wasn't having it. She then analyzed the photos taken during the event, especially one that showed the siblings standing in front of the statue. William was on the left and Harry was on the right and Harry would actually turn his body when he wanted to talk or address his brother. And so he would turn from head to foot facing his brother but William didn't respond in kind, she said. Cobb noticed that the Duke of Cambridge still had his whole body facing the statue which is said to contradict the position of someone who is eager to talk or listen to the other person. She explained, you turn towards someone that you like, or someone that you want to talk to, someone who has grabbed your interest but it wasn't being reciprocated and when it's not reciprocated, there's an issue there. Prince Harry had made no secret about his rift with his brother and that they are now on different paths. But Cobb believes that the tension between them stems from the Sussex's Oprah interview in March last year and probably some other dynamics in the relationship that people are not privy to. She said it would be interesting to see if there would be any changes to their body language when they interact with each other in public again. Besides, this week will mark two years since Harry and his wife Meghan Markle, announced they were to step back as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who famously said they would work to become financially independent, now live in the U.S. with their children, Archie and Lilibet. In the months before their dramatic announcement, Harry spoke about his relationship with his brother William, the Duke of Cambridge, in an ITV documentary. Harry and Meghan, an African journey was released after rumors of a rift between the two brothers. In the film, shot during the Sussex's tour of Southern Africa in 2019, Harry opened up to ITV's Tom Bradby about his and William's relationship. He told the journalist, We are brothers. We will always be brothers. We're certainly on different paths at the moment but as brothers, you know, you have good days, you have bad days. The Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English later claimed that William watched the interview with shock and horror as he thought about how to respond. The journalist was speaking for Channel 5's 2020 documentary, William and Kate, Too Good to Be True. She said, I know William watched this interview with a mixture of shock and horror. Harry was kind of publicly airing their dirty linen, and I know he debated long and hard about what to do. Former journalist Richard Kay, who was also interviewed for the documentary, claimed Harry had a deep understanding of William's role as future king. He said, No one knows more than Harry what kind of life William has got in front of him. William had every expectation and reason to think that Harry was going to be there supporting him when the time came. Now it looks like he won't be. Despite living on opposite sides of the Atlantic, William and Harry were reunited on a couple of occasions in 2021. The brothers both attended the funeral of their grandfather Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh in April. The trip, which Harry made alone, as Meghan was pregnant at the time, was his first since stepping away from his royal role. The Duke of Sussex was spotted chatting to William and his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge after the service. William and Harry were also reunited again months later in July as they unveiled a statue to their late mother, Princess Diana. The princes unveiled the statue to the Princess of Wales at her former home of Kensington Palace on what would have been her 60th birthday. The pair were seen chatting and smiling at the event as they met up for the first time since Philip's funeral. William and Harry may have another opportunity to get together this year as their grandmother, the Queen celebrates her Platinum Jubilee, marking her 70 years on the throne. Her Majesty who succeeded her father George VI as sovereign upon his death in 1952, is the country's longest reigning monarch.